I look chic and I'm lazy at the same time. And I like doing this. <laughs> What's up you guys? So I don't know if you noticed, I look a little bit different today. It's because I'm wearing my new wig from Uniwigs. They were once again so sweet and wanted to send me another wig to review for you guys. And I actually specifically requested this wig because out of all of the videos that I've made about all my wigs from Uniwigs, I think the one comment that I get is like, boy, this is beautiful. I love this wig so much, but it's just a little out of my price range, which I completely understand. I would be on the same boat as well. These wigs, at least for me, are something that I would need to like say up for like they're human hair wigs. Human hair wigs do cost more than synthetic wigs. Um, I personally have never had a synthetic wig, not like a nice one. Not to say there aren't nice ones, I just have not ever had one. I've always had human hair wigs. That's because I prefer to be able to style it as if it was my own hair. And again, no hate on synthetic wigs. I just think that for people like us who are having real hair problems and need to be wearing these a little more often and not just for fashion, it's just easier to have a human hair wig because you can basically treat it like your own hair. You can put products in it, you can straighten it, curl it, whatever. So that's just my preference. But yes, they can be a little bit pricey. Um, So I chose this one because it is the most affordable human hair wig that they have on their website, at least that I could find. I could be wrong, but I looked pretty hard and I think this is it. This is the most inexpensive one they have. So if you're starting off, this would be an amazing starter wig. The style is called Pandora, which I think is really cute. And the reason that this is a great starter wig not only for the price but because it has these bangs so this is the easiest wig that i've ever had to just chuck on and like leave the house like there is absolutely nothing that i have to do to it there is like a tiny bit of lace under the bangs but you don't have to glue it nothing is glued on i literally just put this on like a hat and then kind of like shimmy it out and it's basically good to go. So for that reason, I think this is just an amazing starter wig or even to add to your collection. It's a really cute style. I just adored how it had like these little curled in edges because it reminds me of um, Velma from Scooby-Doo. I'm getting massive Velma vibes. And yeah, I just thought it was the cutest and I really wanted to review it for you guys because I know that this one is going to be a little bit more attainable than some of the other ones that I've shown. I know a lot of people really have their heart set on having a really long wig, but I love this short style so much and I've been thinking about cutting my real hair short thinking about it I'm not set on it but I it has been a serious consideration lately because my hair is just so annoying to deal with to constantly keep styled and looking like I don't have a bird's nest on my head or I haven't been living at a bus station somewhere I just don't have the effort that I once did when I was a teenager to be dealing with like hair that is my length so I didn't do too too much but I did customize this wig so that it would work better for me um, it was originally a much lighter shade of brown this wig in particular only comes in two shades to my knowledge There's like a blonde and then a brown but the brown was was just a bit too light for me so as you can see i did end up dyeing it so i will be showing you that process and i also gave it a little trim and i just made it customized so that it would be comfortable for me to wear all the time as always the link for this wig will be down below in the description bar i do have a discount code with them as well i will put it down here somewhere and also in the description so if you want to use it then please do because that makes this baby even more affordable than it already is okay so i guess it's time to get into it Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so frustrated. My video thing just ran out of storage, I guess. My phone ran out of storage. But I was saying that this is my brand new wig. It's from Uniwigs. It's the prettiest color in the world. And today I'm going to be customizing it because I want it to become my, I don't want to say everyday wig because I don't wear wigs every day. So that's because I barely leave the house as we all should be doing right now. I put it on briefly the other day just because I wanted to see what it looked like it's really hard to tell when it's in the box so i just like threw it over my hair as it is i didn't even tuck my hair in or anything and the only thing that i can really say i need to change is that the bangs were like way too long that's because they did that on purpose because everybody's forehead is different it's better to be longer than shorter i'm just going to fix the bangs i don't know if i want to keep them like straight curtain bangs i might sweep them to the sides like a 70s thing i don't know i'll see but yeah I'm going to be trying this one on today. I just wanted to show you the inside 
it before I do. So the only real difference with this compared to my regular lace front wigs, although this one does have lace at the front and I did have to trim it, which I already did, but it does not have any clips at the front. I think that's because it's supposed to come so far forward as opposed to like sitting kind of back here-ish where regular lace front wigs do. And then it's got the regular two sizing stretchy things in the back that I honestly don't use, but if you have a smaller head than mine, then you probably will need to. As always, the box came with wig caps and they did come with clips if you want to sew them in, but again, I don't need to and I don't think many people would, but I just thought that would be good information to include. Also, I don't know if this is worth mentioning, but I am just wearing my husband's um, shirt as I usually do when I make these videos, just because, I don't know, I just think they're comfortable and I'm at home, so. I thought I would mention that in case anyone's wondering why I'm wearing a boo boo and not. <laughs> it is my husband's shirt, so. Anyway. you can see that it's like way up here. Probably wouldn't be an issue to most people except I really like tucking my hair behind my ears. I don't know if I should just like cut it shorter or I don't know. I'm also thinking about not dyeing it my natural hair color but maybe like a more chocolatey brown. This one is like on the mousy sort of side. Okay, hi again. You can probably tell by my hair that it is a different day. So it has been a couple days since I got the cutting of the wig right, but I was running out of daylight. So I thought I would leave it to another time. But today I'm going to be dyeing the wig. I thought about keeping it that light color, but it just wasn't working on my skin tone. I always think I'm a bit lighter than I am, but I'm just a little too tan to pull off that light of a brown. So I found this old dye that I think my husband had gotten and just didn't use. It's just this Revlon color silk whatever. I honestly do not pay any attention to like the brand of things when I'm picking like box dyes out because I don't think it really matters too much. This one is in the shade brown black. I did originally want to dye this like a darker brown because brown black is going to just show up as black which is going to be probably darker than my natural hair. Sorry you guys, my phone just fell off the tripod and now you probably feel like you're gonna throw up from the movement, I'm sorry. But the last time I colored a topper that I got from Uniwigs, uh, a lot of you guys wanted to see how I dye toppers and wigs. That was the first one that I did, I'm just going to apply the same method to this one. Hopefully this one works out as well as the last one did.
is the final result after I dyed it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and appreciated this review. I really, really wanted to find something that more people were able to afford. And I think that even if you can't afford it right now, this is definitely an attainable goal as far as saving up. I know that we are in tough times right now. But I still want to look cute. I feel like other people still want to look cute. You've still got Zoom calls to attend. Like, life is happening. So I really hope this helps anybody that has been dying for one of these wigs. I think this is going to be a really amazing option for you. I really hope that this video helps a lot of people that didn't think they would be able to get one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of the family here. We would all love to have you. We are such an amazing community on this channel. Everyone is so helpful and just wanting to give people tips. There's nobody nasty. Like This is a really, really great place that we've built for us, a little corner of YouTube that's a happy place. So if you would like to see any specific videos from me, please leave it down below or any questions. I will do my best to answer as quick as I can. I hope everyone's staying safe out there. Be kind to each other and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.